This is where Mohamed Brahmi was killed on Thursday. He was shot 14 times in front of his family outside his home. With a gun, the authorities say, was used to kill another prominent opposition spokesman, Shokri Belaid, six months ago. The investigation confirmed that the same 9mm automatic weapon that killed Shokri Belaid also killed Brahmi. Our investigations show that the man who killed Brahmi was Abu Bakir Hakim, a Salafist who was involved in smuggling weapons to Tunisia. But Mr. Brahmi's widow rejects this. She says the government is to blame for her husband's death. This is state violence directed at the militants of the left. This violence happening in Tunisia is not a simple street fight between two parties. This is premeditated violence brought about by the government. The killing of Mohamed Brahmi brought thousands of people onto the streets of Tunisia on Thursday night. His People's Movement Party has said it will try to launch an alternative government because the current one has lost its legitimacy. The main trade union called a general strike on Friday, closing down the airport, public transportation and most government offices. This kind of political assassination has been coming because the government has lost its legitimacy in the last year and it's made no effort to fight the spread of terrorism and violence. Mohamed Brahmi was the elected representative for Sidi Bouzid, a city considered by many as the birthplace of the 2011 revolution. And his widow has called on his supporters there and in the rest of Tunisia to rise up and overthrow the government. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.